So the first attack we will start with is SC1, which is an abuse of a misconfigured top plate that elevate our privileges to a domain admin. But how does it work? Well, this template must have enrollment rights enabled for the user we control. In our case, the low privilege user that we control. Also, the enrollee supply subject attribute is enabled. And that's actually the abusing part, because if this attribute is enabled, then any user that have enrollment rights can request a certificate of any other domain user, including domain admin. The third condition is the template should have the client authentication AKU. Now to get a better understanding, I will start by creating a template called SC1. Then I go to the security tab and then allow the domain users to enroll to this certificate. So this will allow any domain user to enroll, including the low privilege user. Then I go to the subject name tab and then check the supply in the request attribute. And that's what's going to allow us to request a certificate of any other domain user. Let's apply those settings and import that template. And then if we check the EKU, the purpose of this template, by default, the user template that we duplicate at the first place has client authentication, secure email, encrypting file system EKU. So it contains the client authentication, which is what we are interested on. Great. Now, let me show you how can we use this to escalate our privileges from a low privilege user to a domain admin. I am running the CMD process as the low privilege user in bank.local domain. We will start with enumerating the Active Directory certificate services, and we're going to use Certify from Spectre Ops. This tool will allow us to enumerate, find vulnerable templates, and abuse them. It sounds interesting. All right, let's start. So to just enumerate EDCS, we use certify CES or we type certify find and it will get back to us with the certificate authority name and all the templates. So certify find, as you can see, we've got a lot of output. Back in time, I had no idea what all of this text means. Thanks to this course, it all makes sense to me now. If you take a look at the end, you will find a template called SC1, which is the one we have already created. As you can see, the enrollee supply subject is enabled. And also, in the enrollment rights, domain users can enroll to the certificate. And we have client authentication in the extended key usage, EKU. That's mean that we can use this certificate for authentication. And because of the enrollee supply subject attribute enabled, we can get a certificate in behalf of any other user, in our case, the domain admin administrator. We're gonna use this command, certify, then request because we are requesting a certificate then we specify the certificate authority just copy the name from here then we specify the template we want to abuse which is sc1 and then the alt name which is the alternative name that we want to impersonate and get its certificate in this case it's the administrator that's it we hit enter and couple of seconds we've got a private key and the public key the same way we used to do with OpenSSL. now this certificate is issued by the ca and we can use it for authentication why again because the eku of this template is client authentication who is responsible for authenticating us let's see if you still remember it great the p key in it now this cert is in the pem format and we need to convert it to a pfx format so we can use it for authentication let's copy it and paste it in a file Call it cert.pem. And then we use OpenSSL to convert a PEM format into a PFX format. We're going to use this command and we specify the cert.pem that we have already saved. We enter a password, convert it successfully. Now we can use reverse tool to use the certificate to authenticate. And this way we're going to get a TGT as the domain admin administrator. So reviews, then we use ask TGT option to get a TGT. Then we specify the user, which is the administrator, and the domain, which is back to local. Also, the PFX certificate, and the password we have set for that certificate before. And then the DC. Also, we specify the no wrap uh, to not get new lines in the terminal, and PTT to pass the ticket to memory, so I can use it to authenticate to the DC. Hit enter. As you can see, we have got a TGT as the domain admin administrator. If I type key list, as you can see, we have the TGT. And now I can get into the DC SMB share. We can also use enter PS session to the DC and we are in. 